Hi, this is a tutorial of how to create a report in Excel. So let me show you guys how this works. Right here, if you notice, I have a sheet there, and that's sheet one. Sheet one is enabled. Sheet two, and my report sheet. If I click on sheet two, all of this information here will be displayed on sheet two. Look at it. But if I decide to click on sheet one, there we go. Now, for the report, if I click on report, there, there we go. Those are all the information on both sheet one and sheet two, and you can see the last entry there. And we can also click on this very button to go back to the form, okay? We can print if you want, you've already seen my print function, how it works, a dialog box pops up, I don't have a printout on my system so i've actually defaulted to my one note so you can just click on okay or click on setup there select which of the either portrait or landscape click on okay and to print and there we go it's now printing on my one note there that's it right there on my one note get rid of that and we can clear we can also exit Okay, so but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Excel development environment and we put one of these nice tutorials together. So, just for your information, these tutorials are the request of one of my viewers out there. I believe I must have met this requirement. So, let's do that now, guys. Okay, welcome back, guys. I'm now using raw data. Okay, I have uh, sheet one and also have sheet two. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to developer there. If you don't have your developer, all you need to do is go to file, click on file and select options. And the next thing, this dialog box will pop up, pop up. select customize ribbon. And once that pops up make sure you select developer and click on ok then you should be able to see your tab there and click on visual basic or you can select alt f11 now let's go to insert user form there we go that's my user form there i'm going to click on the properties for the user form i like to enter approximately 512 by 600 plus so I'm going to make that 600 and maybe 68 that is for my form the next thing I'd like to do is I'm going to enter a frame right up here and another frame here there we go that's it all gone now the next thing is I need some buttons here. Okay, one, two, three. It's gonna be about four of those, and move it down there. We need two combo box. No, it's not combo box. Is option box is called, and I need a label here. I also need a label three here. And a um, text box. Right, copy all of this and write here. There. Okay, and here I'm just going to enter create a report in Excel. And let's change the background color of all of this. I'm just going to make them green. There. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just to speed up the whole process of the design of the interface. And I will get back to you guys shortly. Okay. Let's speed that up. There we go guys, this is how my interface looks, so the first thing I like to do now is to save this product. So
so I'm going to have to click on no because I want to save it as a macro enable there we go okay and there uh, so let's change that to macro enable right there and the name I'm just going to call it Excel report YouTube like I said make sure it's macro enable that is selected it's right up here just click on save and there we go now the next thing is double click on let me take care of the exit first so right in here I'm going to enter my exit lines of codes now let's go back to the design double click on clear for the clear all I'm just going to enter is text box one dot I say that value equals clear so I'm going to speed that up just change the numbers around I have six of those there that's that taken care of now let's take care of the print double click on print right here the lines of code for print taken care of as well so with the prints first of all the application will call the setup dialog box and we make long selection there then we can then print either one but we just one copy that is that taken care of as well back in here now let's double click on the reports let's take care of the report the, rep the report is the main purpose for this particular project double click on the report right here inside the report the following lines of codes are entered and I've also entered some comment there I've declared two variables okay and I've declared a loop there the for loop I've entered the for loop okay as you can see from one to the sheets count minus my report sheet okay then copy whatever I have that's going to be F because if I look inside my report sheet I have let's see I have one two three four up to F so I'm going to change that to F instead of P right copy and here that is to just offset the entrance that I have on the work workbook or worksheet why in the case of this that will paste whatever I have in there okay and here is to open up this very report sheet itself now let's see do I have a report sheet there I don't have a report sheet I'm now going to just click on that to add a report sheet and just name that report and that's all I need to do as you can see there's nothing in here the whole idea is to be able to copy every the information I have on this very worksheet worksheet 1 and 2 straight in onto my report sheet here okay let's go back to my user form okay now the report sheet will definitely work now but I also need to add some data here should in case if I add anything but let's run it and you guys see how the report works now for the report sheets like I showed you earlier on there's nothing on the report sheet as you can see so I'm going to go back in here and just run my program okay run the program now there and just click on report right there guys those are all the datas on uh, sheet 1 and sheet 2 okay data on sheet 1 and, and sheet 2 on the report sheet okay so if I delete all of these and you see that again okay I'm gonna move that aside this is my report sheet if I click on this very button there you see that so the report itself is taken care of these are the lines of code for the report and that's very simple now let's take care of this very one the purpose of this sheet one and sheet two is just to add more information onto my 
sheet one sheet two itself so let's double click on sheet one right there on sheet one let me move it up so that you guys can see it right right in here and as follows okay you can see this workbook dot sheet is sheet one okay that is it right there let's move this way you can see that that's sheet one so all I just want you to do is to become visible okay and make sure it's selected and I also declare a variable and using uh, if my option that enable then whatever I have on to on the text box should be added onto sheet one that is it so I'm going to copy all of this I used exactly the same lines of code for sheet two double click on sheet two and that's sheet two right underneath here let's move it move, move it up there paste all i just need to do now is change this this is option two sheet two and this is sheet two and that takes care of that okay and we also need to change this to two and two what well, is let's make sure all of yeah I think that's it. Yeah, these are the lines of code for those option buttons. Okay, second option buttons taken care of. Let's move that up a little bit as well so that you can see it. First option button and the second option button right there. Okay, let's run the whole program and see how it works now. Now let's enter whatever student details in there. Now the name of this very student, let's say his name is Femi Wells. Gender male. Course code. And subjects. Let's say. Uh, let's just say PE. There we go. School education. So we can always add that. If I click on this sheet, there we go, Femi Wells, right there on sheet one. Now let's try on sheet two. Let's say we change the details of that to Peter Wells ID number. And he happened to be studying the same thing, sheet two. Peter Wells, look at that. Let's say Sally as well. Sally Montana. Okay, click on sheet one and let's say on sheet two we have Ellen. Uh, Ellen Cole. There. Click on sheet two. There we go. And all we just need to do is to generate the report. And that is how you create your own report sheet using Excel. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed it. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.